Right, we're here with Nick Matthew, world champion, world number one, and uh, we just—it's a Premier Squash, squash League match, and uh, we're just going to hear and check out what kind of items he's got in his squash bag and what he would have for his preparation for his matches. Okay, so um, my bag tends to be a bit like organised chaos, to be honest. I have two compartments that are generally quite tidy, and then one that is just full of everything, a bit of a mess. So I've got first main pocket, got all my rackets, got all the um, new Dunlop biometric rackets that I've been starting to use the last month or two. Um, How many rackets have you got in here? I always take at least five or six to a tournament, so I always get them strung up brand new before I go there by my dad, I always get a racket strung at uh, 27 um, pounds, and I'm a bit funny with 27 pounds is different all around the world, so I always get my dad to do them on the stringing machine that I know. I'm a bit funny like that. Always get my Dunlop grips, and um, yeah, I like um, stencils, important. Otherwise, Dunlop will send me a nice, um, hefty fine if I don't have my racket stenciled, and that's about it in there. Got the, my little black book that I keep um, track of everything, all my notes on my opponents and stuff. Um, so, you keep notes on the opponents? Just a few little pointers on the couples, because yeah. you know you've you played them plenty of times, so um, keeps things fresh. Yeah. Um, in there, just got all the like balls, grips, um, things like contact lenses there, because I'm blind to the bat, so when I play, I need to wear lenses. Um, this is pretty important for me. It's the hockey ball, which I use to um, loosen off like my glutes and my soles my feet in plantar fascia so um, I use that quite um, religiously and the same with a golf ball um, similar sort of thing um, that's right in there um, this compartment's pretty chaotic you've got this, just everything sweatbands, phone, iPod, wallet hand gel <laughs> all my toiletries iPod's pretty important before I play. Get my I try to update my playlists every couple of tournaments so that you're getting quite um, fresh tunes and motivated um, getting up for your matches. Um, always have probably three or four spare shirts and pairs of socks for each game in there because um, obviously um, sweating like a maniac, so need them. And the same for sweatbands. Um, got all my Maxim gels, which are pretty good. Um, give you like in between games just take a little um, swig on one of those with your water or your electrolyte got there and that just gives you a little bit of sort of caffeine or a little bit of sugar boost which is good and well so they got my TheraBand which is another religious part of my exercise after my shoulder operation in 2008 I every time I go on court I have to do a sort of range of Routines and exercises on those that sort of activate all my shoulders and. So how, how do they how do they work? So you're just doing stuff like you know you activate um, activate into different sort of muscles for like playing shots and you you stretch in like that you do it over your head different things and this is a slightly stronger one you put you can put it under your foot and doing do sort of stuff like like that um, right so I'm doing loads of theraband exercises with those. Um, and the other probably more interesting thing is my compression pants. They don't look very cool, but after you've had a hard match, you stick those on, get some compression to your legs, and that helps you recover after a hard match. Um, next one. Got, this is the biggest racket bag in the world, because it done up. So I've got I've got my shoes. I always have two two pairs of uh, shoes with me. And I've got one on, and the other pair in here. I always have two pairs worn in ready, so that if one anything happens or during the match uh, lay snap or something happens to solve a bit slippy one day or whatever then you've got two pairs that are ready to go sometimes can get wet if you've had a hard match and skipping rope um, which is pretty uh, straightforward do a lot of s sets of skipping before I play so obviously this is a bag for a Premier Squash League but does it vary much if you go away to tournaments to the yeah, obviously, um, if I'm um, away at a tournament, um, always take, um, obviously you've got more shirts if you're playing sort of in a humid environment, you need to bring out like, plenty of match uh, kit, hoodies, if you're playing in somewhere cold in the AC, um, obviously, um, recovery drink, I always make sure I have 
um, in there because that's important always to get your bit of protein in straight after you've played half within half an hour of playing that's the most important thing so always have a recovery drink in there um, yeah I've got a little pocket here again like bits of tape spare um, shoelaces heart rate monitor a tennis ball that I use sometimes for sort of little warm up drills um, and that's it really um, and usually uh, things can get a bit smelly in there. It's good that you saw it before the match because afterwards it can uh, have a lot of dirty kit in there so you saw it when things are fresh. So. so for any sort of aspiring junior or club players or anything that you would sort of like tips that you would suggest for their bag? Yeah, I mean, as I said, my bag's pretty much the same if I go for training or a big match. Um, you know, always sort of prepare. Um, as if you're going to be playing the World Open final when you go down to practice, you know, all your rackets are sort of, you got a, a good supply of rackets, they're all strung up well, you know, you've got plenty of supplies of balls, grips, just so that if anything goes wrong, you're well stocked, really, and uh, you're not all, you're not one of these guys that's like bugging you every two minutes for a pair of scissors or a spare grip or a spare ball or something, you know, come prepared and uh, you won't go too far wrong. Excellent. And there we have it. So that's uh, Nick Matthew, the current world number one world champion, and uh, he's given you an insight to what's in his rather large Dunlop bag. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs>